needs no introduction, but I'm gonna give it to you anyway. Please welcome one of the funniest and absolutely the nicest person in comedy and perhaps the world, the wonderful Mike Falzer! <laughs> Front row two times? That's no good, you know it's no good. You knew it was no good last night, you did it twice. What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for coming. Uh, give it up for everyone you've seen tonight. Give it up for your host, Becky. She's fucking awesome. Give it up for Elliot for having a much better time this time. Give it up for Delman for sounding like that. 24 hours a day, he sounds like that. And Lee. And Allie, give it up for Allie. She's one of the funniest people I know. Who else? Whoever Me. got stabbed outside of Voodoo Donuts, give it up. We couldn't get donuts. Give it up for the EMTs who helped. Whoever got stabbed outside of Voodoo Donuts. Such an important job. Give it up for whoever got stabbed outside of Blue Star Donuts. We couldn't go there either. <laughs> Give it up for whoever makes flak jackets. So important. Zoe, you still there? I'm here. All right. Zoe, you ain't said shit all night. What? You ain't. Oh, I'm sorry, am I not speaking clearly? You ain't said shit all night. Oh, because that's English. We're from the not good part of Connecticut, so you know how we talk. I also didn't want... What? What, she, what did you say? Almost, I thought my shit died. What did uh, you say? I didn't also want to interrupt anyone else other than you. Oh, well, thank you for saving it. Kiss my ass. <laughs> Instantly pissed off. Who's the people? Mike, who, it's who, Elliot now. Hi. Uh, what the? I, just, I had a I dream. To check like in. Are one. you guys doing okay? Like with your relationship? Or... <laughs> no, no, not y'all. Mike and Zoya. Are you guys okay? Yeah, we're okay. I just feel like we have some stuff we gotta work out. I think I think we need to have a meeting with our pastor Elliot. Okay. Right now. Uh, maybe, maybe later right in the Right now, week. during my time? Maybe, maybe Wednesday at 7. Over drinks. Do you want to fuck Elliot with me? <laughs> Wednesday night. Okay. I'm not going to do it, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't think about it. I'm like, you want to earn that watch, Papa? <laughs> he, oh man, picture me fucking Elliot real quick. <laughs> quick, just do it quick and then stop. Don't make the rest of the show weird with me fucking Elliot from behind on my tippy toes a little bit. Don't think about it a lot. Zoya's like, uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> we have a camera from the 20s at our house. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Me and Elliot take off our clothes like, same size. It's the best day. Too much time has been spent on, on that. Keep moving. <laughs> yeah, that's good advice. Uh, I'm guessing you guys were already talked to. Or were you the couple who gotten married, engaged? Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. How's it going so far? You already, obviously, I heard it, you already clapped. <laughs> How many times are you gonna be happy for the same couple? <laughs> uh, how's it going so far? It's going good. It's going good? Yeah. Good. Anything, um, have you learned anything from being married so far? Um, he really likes saying this is my wife. 
Okay, yeah, that's because it's fun to say this is my wife. Like you earned it. This is my wife. This is the only person I've ever been with who didn't break up with me. And we have jewelry to prove it. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Are you equally as proud to say this is my husband? Or are you like, it's fucking Mark. You've seen him. I'm very proud. It was just really weird. Yeah. It was weird at first. Because you've never been a wife before. Exactly. Forgive me for assuming. Yeah. yeah. You've never identified as wife before. <laughs> what? That's the positive way to assume. That's the positive way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's getting complicated. Though, for sure. <laughs> So who do you introduce? Who do you introduce your wife to? Uh, people. Go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A dog, a cat. No, no, no. You never. Well, that's rude that you wouldn't. If a dog came in here, you wouldn't introduce it to your wife. <laughs> that's good. And it's going good. How long has it been? Um, it was June twenty fourth. So whatever. Seven months or so. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Yet. <laughs> do you guys still go on dates and stuff? Oh shit. Weekend, so oh, wait until you're married for a long time. Yeah. And then only one of them yeah. matters. Yeah. You guys are new, so you have all these anniversaries. Yeah. This is the first time you told me you loved me. Yeah. This is the first time you ever said my eyes. Talking about my eyes. <laughs> let's go to let's go to dinner. <laughs> this is the first time you ever introduced me as your wife to a dog. Let's go out. <laughs> let's have a good time. Good, I, I wish you guys many, many more different anniversaries. Uh, how are you guys? You're touching. What's that about? Uh, how long have you been touching? Uh, two years coming up, just dating? Yeah. Nice. Well, we live together. I you live together. It is a little bit more serious. I live with Zoya. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Zoya, what was the hardest part of living with me when I first moved, when I first re refused to leave your house? <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's something weird, then, then definitely say. I'm sorry, what do you Too think? much silence. What do, you, what do you want from me? What? 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 This is what it's like. This is how this our is life what is. You, you guys, dude, welcome to our life. 100%. <laughs> huh? Uh, what? what? <laughs> Turn your phone down. Your phone, it's right in front of your face. Why is it at full fucking blast? He hates when I do that. Dude, it's the worst. It's the fucking worst. We're asleep. We're in bed. And we're both on our phones because it's 2019. And we've had enough of each other. That's not true. And yeah. And um, and the phone, she'll just be scrolling through Instagram, and it'll be like picture, picture, and pictures are great because they're silent. <laughs> and it'll, and then it'll be like her uh, a random clip of an Albanian wedding, and it'll be like, I'm up, I'm up. Don't get beat up, Falzone. What? What? Don't get beat up. I honestly, are you holding the mic like Fred Durst? Because I can't fucking hear it. Don't get beat up. I don't want to. Just answer the question from before. What I did you learn from, or what was the weirdest thing when I moved in with you? Oh my God, so many things. Oh my God, pick one. <laughs> Cleaning up your uh, beard clippings. Okay. You have a beard? Have you had to do that? Why did you just point at his face like that? That's where his beard is. <laughs> he's not lying. I see it. It's right under his fucking mouth. He's hiding. He's, he's not even hiding it. Um, do you ever find his, his beard clippings? All the fucking time. All the fucking time. See what you did? I feel you, girl. Nice. I feel you. So here, I'll do an impression of myself trimming my beard before we live together, and then I'll do an impression after we live together. Here was me before we lived together. This is the toilet. It's just over there. It has nothing to do with this.
It is a tall toilet. Imagine that. Imagine how tall your squatty potty would have to be for this. <laughs> Good act out. So here's me trimming my beard uh, at 22 years old. That was it, that was everything. You remember those times. You might be in the transition now. Here's, this is the sink, right? Now it's a sink. And that's the magic of theater. So here's me trimming my beard, here's the mirror. Keep going. That's almost, yep. You got it. Great job. That's a snake. That's a plumbing snake. Great job. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good. Good show. Where's the guy wearing the tie? It's like a very, it's like a, if, if Waldo uh, spent a little more time on his outfit. It's like everyone's like obviously Portland people and then you're like, I could sell you a Bible if you want. Um, why are you wearing a tie? Um, I wore it last, last show, last year. Oh, you wanted me to remember you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you from last year. You have good posture, are you a military man? Oh shit, was there a posture story? All of my material has been done. All of my crowd work material. It was just your birthday. I remember that from last night. That is the extent of my memory. I remember you and your birthday from last night, and I should remember you, because you had an outfit planned. And that's it. I remember Zoya, because I, I wear this, and that's it. I don't remember jack shit. If you guys come up to me, like, I was here last year, I'm gonna be like, Okay, yeah. <laughs> yes, and thank you. Same. <laughs> Who hasn't been talked to yet? Most people, Allie, there's 150 people in here. Allie talked to one person. Where's Tom? Tom, your friend's in love with you. Who is next? Yeah, uh, hello, what is your name? Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Jamie, do you have bangs? No, I have a hat on. You have a hat on. You have Delman here. You could have just said Curly, but you had to say Delman here. <laughs> I'm here like your friend Delman, it's extra specific. If you took off your hat and it was exactly Delman here, that would be awesome. Does your hat affect your voice? <laughs> Delman hat. Um, what did you do today? Oh, cool, interesting. Uh, what grade are you in? <laughs> Creepiest thing for someone who looks like this to say, by the way. Hey, <laughs> weren't you here last year? What grade are you in now? Don't let somebody who looks like this ask you that. Uh, what, gr what grade are you in? <laughs> oh, great, so you're like in you're like in 15th grade. You're just short. You're short for an acupuncturist. And that'll about do for your legs. How, this is gonna sound insulting, but it's not. How long do you have to go to school to, make, to stick needles in people? Four years. Oh, that would turn me off from doing it immediately. Cause you could also be like a fucking dentist. Yeah. You ever stick a needle in someone's tooth? Okay. Looks like we're losing connection. So you studied? Are you almost? Uh, are, what are you studying for? Are hey? Yes or no question? 
Are you magic? <laughs> you have to answer honestly. You are. So what is acupuncture code for? Are they just little wands? You say muzzle turds? Like when you have a misbehaved dog and it throws up in that mask? You ever see a dog throw up in its mask? I'm not getting, we've passed relatable in the two. Okay, so you're an acupuncturist, you're studying, are you a good, are you, do you think you're gonna be a good one? Stickers. <laughs> Correct what I'm thinking, because you know what I'm thinking. We've just done pressure stuff and stickers. You sound like it's every fucking uh, summer camp experience I've ever had. <laughs> pressure points and stickers. Hey, Jimmy, man, your shoulder. Fuck you, Jimmy. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's go play basketball. Stop crying like a bitch. Smiley face. Fuck you, Jimmy. I can be an acupuncturist. So you know where all the pressure points are. So you were like, I can stick a needle in your eye if you have a cold or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, once you say clinic, people tighten up real fast. Um, so that's fun. And then you're moving. Where are you moving to? Uh, 50 kilometers, 40 clicks west. <laughs> gonna pack the platoon and we're gonna get going. We'll be there by morning. You don't sound like that. I wanna be totally, I wanna be fair to you. Well, I wish you the best of luck. And I hope that uh, one day you're good at sticking people with needles. You, you'd make a lot of money doing that, right? In some states. Some states. Is this one of them? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna learn how to be an acupuncturist and then I'm gonna get out there and I'm gonna make just enough <laughs> to scrape by. I'm gonna go to school for years, for years. And I'm gonna take out a loan and I'm gonna put myself in debt. And then when I get out, things will be all right. <laughs> when I get out, it's gonna be hard, but you know, who wants to thrive? <laughs> New game show. <laughs> How many years of school you have left? Uh, two. Good. You're gonna be great. That's nothing. <laughs> you can both. You can be high for the rest of it. It'll be all right. <laughs> you smoke weed? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> you don't wear that hat, but I'll smoke a weed player. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of music to listen to when you're stoned? What's lame about that? You're the coolest dude. You're like a fucking, you're like a Spotify playlist if it was a person. <laughs> What's lame about that? Just because you're in Portland and everyone listens to that shit? <laughs> <laughs> Some of you got tight. I dare you to tell me I'm wrong, you piece of shit. <laughs> you fucking, you big idiots. Um, good, man. I hope you'll be great. Who else would like to get talked to? Who else is in the room? Hey, man, what's up? Ooh, you got a bicep on that arm. What's that all about? Yeah, hell yeah. Are you training to be a wrestler or what? Wait, what? Oh, you already know Isaac. Wait a minute. Everyone knows Isaac. Pick someone new. <laughs> How selfish of Isaac to raise his hand for a second time. Most of the first act was me, but here I go again. <laughs> Fuck you, Isaac. Fuck you, Isaac. Pressure point, Isaac. <laughs> Get on the ground. Let's play basketball, Isaac. Do you have any needles on you you could pelt Isaac with? <laughs> if I stick one in your neck, you won't be so fucking selfish for the rest of your life. That's where the ego is. Let's, let's deflate that ego. There goes Isaac. <laughs> Too mean, too fast. <laughs> it's my favorite Vin Diesel movie. Can I pick people? What? Can I pick people? Can you see people? I can walk around. You guys around. get excited for shit you don't know you should be excited about. She means pick someone at random to fucking done. 
One of you isn't making it out of here. Hands up, Isaac. Let's kill Isaac. Let's kill. <laughs> no, too fast. You joined in too fast. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe here. Let's leave. Let's 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 leave Isaac alone. <laughs> Isaac, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no, 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 come back. Sit down, come Isaac. Come back, come back. Come back, no empty seats. It won't look good for the... <laughs> Isaac, put your jacket on your chair and shape it to look like a person. Then get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Isaac. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, you're like, this is like a fucking... This is like a, um, a Comic-Con panel. Let's now. do this. 1977 hat. Hey. Hey, man. What's your name? Adam. How you doing? Hi, Adam. I'll be asking the questions. Sounds good. Too much, Adam. Um, Adam, what was your... How old are you right now? I am 28. Were you distracted by that? No. No, not at all. Okay, you're too far away. Yeah. So you're 28. When yeah. were, what year were you born? I was born in 90. 1990. 90. I remember it well. That's the year R.E.M. came out. Sure. The sleep, not the band. <laughs> yeah. um, what was your favorite thing to do as a kid? Did you have a favorite like show that you watched or a favorite activity? Uh, pogo stick. Pogo stick was your yeah. favorite? Oh. That's impressive. That's an impressive thing to do. What was the most hurt you've ever gotten a pogo stick? Uh, I attempted to do a backflip. It didn't go well. Holy shit, dude. The balls. That never goes well. You got Isaac well. balls. It was yeah, on grass, two. but... It was on grass? It was on grass. You tried I to pull those thing on grass? Yeah, I think that was the issue. I That's how you bounce. irrigate the lawn, playboy. Yeah. <laughs> we get paid a lot of money for doing that. That's like fucking... That's pincushion money, playboy. <laughs> right? Um... That's fun. Were you like, are you an only child? No, I'm the youngest of two. You were the youngest, so you were like, notice me, notice me, notice me! Yes. Yeah, I get that. I, I did it for two hours straight in the cul-de-sac. In to, the cul-de-sac. To cul try and beat everyone's record. I was like, see, see, I'm better than everyone else. See? I can do shit. I don't need to spell. I got this pogo stick. Exactly. Good, man. When was the last time you pogo sticked? Stack, what do you call it? When was the last time you, you pogoed? Uh, at least five, to maybe ten years. It's been Damn. Long. That's you, five or ten years. That's kind of recently. That's what I'm thinking as an early 20-year-old. Because you range. still think you can't get hurt? Well, no, because I, I was a little bit, you know, skinnier. So although I have to big, like, like get the, the fat pogo sticks now. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, Dude, dude how noisy plus. is the spring on the fat pogo stick? <laughs> squeaky, squeaky. <laughs> Like your fucking, like your aunt is having sex <laughs> on her old mattress. <laughs> Clap it up if your aunt has had sex on an old mattress. <laughs> yeah. Couple people are familiar. Someone new? Uh, oh, you're not interested? Oh, no, we can still go. Honestly. What was, the, I just, what was the, the most you've ever done and what was the coolest thing you ever... P po 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 stick done? wise or what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not interested in anything else. <laughs> I was pretty impressed with the two-hour thing, but... Two I, I, hours? Yeah, yeah, I, I pogo stick for two hours straight. God damn. To be a kid Jesus and to have that much time. I can't do anything Did you not have the straight. internet when you were a kid? Uh, it was just starting out. It was just starting out, so yeah. you looked up, how do I pogo stick for... I got some I viruses from LimeWire like everyone else did. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, how long did porno take to download from LimeWire? Oh, God. And you just had to type Weeks. in... Weeks. Weeks? <laughs> Thank you. Yes. You guys don't know how good you have it. And you just have to type in what you think you might want to see. And then you download something, you wait two and you, weeks, and you pray to God. It was which real. Is not, you don't bring God into that situation, but you still did it. And then you would just hope what you downloaded was, was real. the thing. Not just the, 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 the random monkey dancing around. Yeah, or like a lit video or something like that. <laughs> Squaling in, na, 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 typed in big boobs. <laughs> <laughs> I typed in beebs. Uh Cool, man. And so that was, what was the, do you ever count your, your pogos? How many? I, I only, after I started doing like long periods of time, I just started counting the time. You counted in time, player. Yeah, exactly. I did three days of pogos. <laughs> Good. Well, thank yeah. you so much. That's thank very you. impressive.
It's also, yeah. And if you were to do it now, like if you were to stand up and do it in the middle of this room, I'd be like, don't look at him, you guys. He's fucking, it's a 28-year-old guy in a public thing. Did you ever end up doing the backflip? No. Good. <laughs> Good. Someone new? Yeah. Hmm. That made me sad thinking about a 28-year-old guy doing Hang on. Hi. Hi. How are you? Do you have bangs? I know how this was, but... Yeah, She's got bangs. Yeah, hell yeah. Just, I actually just cut them after being home with the flu for a week and being stir-crazy. Like oh, yesterday. dude. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how fucking <laughs> sick of your life you gotta be to be like, fuck are it, you I don't contagious? give a fuck. <laughs> No, I'm, I beat, I beat the flu just in time to be here, just so you know. You got over the flu just yeah. in time to be here? Literally just in time. I've been 72 hours without a fever. which means Oh, I'm not shit. Eat. So yeah. you're, um, the Thank person God. in front of you was like, did she cough? <laughs> uh, sorry, you're great. <laughs> yeah. Person, go to the person in front of her. When was the last time you had the flu shot? <laughs> <laughs> When? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Call the acupuncturist. <laughs> Where can you It'll stick fire. me so I don't fucking get caught on anymore? I have a um, hand I can cover it with. It's fine. You have some hands you can cover? Yeah, with? I can cover my cough. If I'm like a grown person. That was, uh, yeah, good. To... Don't throw it back at me like that. <laughs> I'm saying. What's with the attitude? I just said you're spreading a sickness to everyone in here. And I'm the asshole all of a sudden. Well. <laughs> Good. What was the Quit. worst part of being sick, man? Um, just not being able to leave the house. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. That sucks. You're not doing I mean, I had my roommate and he's fine, but you know. It's only so I mean, you much. Didn't, you didn't that really that have help. to bring him into this, did you? <laughs> but you're an outdoorsy person. And you live in Portland. I'm where a it's bar raining going every person. Day. I'm a public space person, not necessarily an outdoorsy person. You're a public space person. Yeah. <laughs> so you're just sitting on the toilet, you're pissing out of your ass in the toilet, yeah. on your high ass toilet. Uh -huh. And you're like, oh, I just want to be in the grocery store right now. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. <laughs> oh, if I could just be in a CVS, oh, I'm shivering. <laughs> 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 Hundred percent. I would. I actually went to go do my laundry because I just needed to be out of the house. Yeah. I know. I've and never I had, had the laundry mat experience. That seems like a cool place to. It was. Um, be along with your thoughts. It was a. It was a time. You know. It's yeah. Fine. There's like a bodega next door, so I got some snacks. Nice. So the your that's a very uh, nice communal thing to say that the worst part of being sick was not being around. Mm -hmm. You just want to be around other people. I did. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> This is the first time I've left my house in a week and a half. Oh, Woo! shit. Yeah. She loves yeah. Other than laundry, because that doesn't count. Well, apparently. You she didn't have to buy a ticket too. to that either. <laughs> so, significantly easier trip. A little bit, yeah. Um, everyone else copped out and did the uh, question and answer thing. And it seems like fun. But I, I feel like if I'm going to ask you guys to ask me questions, it's going to be something too inside. And that's going to ruin it. So I'd like to I'd like to stay in control. Okay. Until I cop out at the end. Someone new? Yeah, someone new, please. Thank someone you. I'm glad new. you're okay. Mm. Yeah. What are you guys raising your hands for? Hi. Like it's my decision. <laughs> Dude, once Zoya has control of the situation, I'm just here. I love I love this. Yeah. You're good at this. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, the ask. What's his. your name? Molly. So, uh, you're really Molly. good at, at picking people to ask hey, questions. Hang on, let's, let, let's talk to Molly for a second. Okay. Molly, what do you do? I'm a barista. Hell yeah. Like She's my favorite kind else. of person. <laughs> I make some pretty sick cap cappuccinos. Oh, Shut shit. your mouth. I have a cappuccino tattoo. What is this? There is, there's a fucking cappuccino on her arm. What? <laughs> She's got a cappuccino on her arm. Come here. Like, I don't believe you. What do you think they're clapping for right now? Like, oh, this, this oh, is a self-proclaimed picture. Dude, so many, what do you, what? It's a self, she took the picture of the cappuccino that is on her arm right now. Yeah, I made it, and then I took the picture, and I was like, can you tattoo this? And he's like, yeah. Oh, so you made? The, yeah, I made the cappuccino, and then I brought it to my artist. That's really cool. Her dude told me. Nice, is that new? Uh, about, like, October. Oh, you have a bunch of good tattoos. Who's your tattoo person? Um, Todd 
Todd Morgan. Todd, the Todd Morgan. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. I have a cookie on my arm. Yeah. Can I dunk the cookie in the, in the cappuccino? Good. That didn't, um, that was weird. That was weird what we did. We did a weird thing. Molly, Molly. What if they both became real in that moment? I was like, oh, let's eat this thing that came out of our skin. <laughs> Molly, come, come sit down with me. Yeah, please, Molly, please. <laughs> Molly, when was the last time you had the flu? Oh, um, oh shit. Oh. It's okay if you don't know. It means you're a healthy person. You wash your hands. <laughs> I think we could all learn a lesson from Molly's hands. I got, I got food poisoning from bread pudding. From bread pudding? Oh. You could do that? What? Was it like moldy bread pudding? <laughs> I got it from a store and I heated it up and I just got sick. Oh, yikes. Yeah. I, you know how gross that is? I've never said yikes before in my life. <laughs> Ooh, jeepers. <laughs> okay, good. Well, I think we learned a lot about Molly. All right, hang what on. You guys I'm going to gonna come to the outskirts. There were people with their arms over here. Over there? People doing hang on, hang on. Arms. I'm working my way. I don't know what that's all about. Let me see those what arms. You, hold on one sec. We're, this is in the interim. What is your name? Yeah, yeah. Taylor. Hi, Taylor. We work together. I did the fallback one. Oh, fuck yeah, dude! Fuck yeah, Taylor! Come see me after the show. Oh, thank you so much. Did you like it? Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. This is just, you understand how this experience is... Oh, you can be mean to me. It's fine. No, why would you assume I'd be mean? <laughs> fuck you, Taylor! <laughs> fuck oh, you, Taylor. I live in Portland, and I'm an artist. Oh, I live in Vancouver, BC, like everyone else here. <laughs> you think you're fucking special, Taylor? Go ahead and clap if you live in Vancouver, BC. Listen to this. No, 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 be honest. Clap it up if you live in Vancouver, BC. Yeah, fucking snowflake. Thank you so much for coming, man. I can't be mean for an extended period of time unless I mean it and I never mean it. <laughs> Fuck you, you though, for real. Are you ready? <laughs> What's your name? My name's Liz. Hi, Liz. Hi. Do you have a question? Uh, no, I'm just really glad to be here and to see you. Okay, thank you, Liz. And you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm more famous. Liz, what did you? Listen, we're not gonna have this conversation. <laughs> Taylor, who's more you. famous, me or Zoya? Taylor, do the right thing. <laughs> what? Who's more? F Taylor. I mean, Oh, oh, is it Zoya Falzon presents a fun If there, there's a t-shirt in the back, whose name's the t-shirt? You guys, you're all fired. <laughs> well, you have to leave. I'm sorry. I'll finish the show to you guys. Uh, so what did you, what'd you do today? You woke up, what was the first thing you did? Um, I worked 5.30 a.m. till 2 at my job. God damn, what are you, I, what's your job? I'm a, a restaurant manager. You're a restaurant manager? Yeah. Is it like fancy, up oh, your no, own no, ass no. Portland restaurant? Or no, is it it's, like a, a it's a Burgerville, I don't know if you. Burgerville? <laughs> yes, some fans. Popular. Some people have heard of hamburgers. Yeah, it's like, you know, it's a, it's a regional Northwest chain. Nice, what's the worst part of working at a Burgerville? Um, the customers, they get mad about our prices. Really? <laughs> Portland people get uppity about prices? That's so weird. Well, I, yeah. <laughs> Never seen Portland people get uppity about food or They or still anything. get mad, I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I remember last time we came here, we tried to go to brunch, big mistake. Jesus. <laughs> and uh, and we, we got to the place and, and I was like, how long is the wait? And the girl was like, three hours. And I was like, oh, oh my God. Three hours, and she was like, "Yeah, you're trying to have brunch in Portland." <laughs> and in my heart, I said, "I'm never fucking coming back to this place." He walked out and told me that, and I was like, "Bitch." <laughs> <laughs> I walked out and I was like, "Anywhere else? Doesn't matter what they. Have. Let's go to a Petco. I'll find something to eat. I'll chew on a rawhide for <laughs> until lunchtime, so I don't have to talk to that ever again." I'm sorry that you have to deal with shitty people. That's okay. Does anyone drive Lyft or Uber in here? You used to? That counts. Who said that? Hey, Brian. <laughs> Jesus Christ, can I call on one people, one person I've never met before? <laughs> were you, were people really rude to you? I know people were great. Oh, that's great. 
What do you want me to do with that? <laughs> hey, man. You ever just drive in and someone's nice to you? That's the worst. <laughs> They're not telling you where to go. They fucking give you five stars. <laughs> it's like, get out of here. <laughs> Good, thank you for coming. You drive anyone here? No, I didn't drive. Okay, well. One star for not having a passenger. <laughs> you want to pick somebody else, Ash? Were you checking your fucking phone? I was. Zoya! I was. There was a lot happening. Zoya, get out! Hold on. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do this young lady in the in okay. the in the jean jacket over here. Jean jacket here. Hello. Hi. I'm McKenna. Hi, McKenna. <laughs> I heard. It's that. Longer than I thought it was, and that's also what she said. Hey. <laughs> hey. Everybody's making jokes. <laughs> That's how easy this is. I thought I'd beat you to the punchline. <laughs> Do you have a question? Um, no, I thought that was, I just yeah, yeah. That was no, like you're your right. thing, you know? You, you are right. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just here. I mean, I can come up with one if, if you need me to. Nah. <laughs> what was I, the first car you ever had? Oh, it was a piece of shit Toyota Camry. From, yeah, I had was, a piece of shit Toyota Corolla named <laughs> Zoya. It was like you already 16 it. years old when I got it. Yeah. And then... I only had it for a short time. It was 16 years old when you were 16 years yeah. old. <laughs> yeah. So it was really like driving yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like that. Uh, what color was it? Just like a taupe color. Taupe? They were all taupe. Why was yeah. everything in the and 90s taupe? Sunspots and all. I had a taped up window. Hell yeah. Yeah. Terrible. Yes. Nice. As the first car should be. I, uh, I had a 93 Toyota Corolla and it was pink. Your sounds cooler. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> uh, I put a, a, a head unit in there, and the head unit was more than the car. <laughs> and it did not fit. <laughs> and it, it was beautiful and pristine in this like shitty, almost nothing car. And it was like, uh, it was like when rich people go to the diner. You ever seen a, like somebody <laughs> dressed like you goes to the diner? <laughs> Like, why do you have a, your fucking ties in the pancakes? That's what my head unit was. JVC ties in the pancakes. <laughs> Good, yeah, I was hoping that was better too. <laughs> Who's next? Thank you, McKenna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Somebody was impressed. I'm gonna work on my way back here. Go ahead. Let's talk to this gentleman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's your name? What do you got? My name's Kusaya. Hi, Kusaya. Do people call you Kusaya or do they say Koos? What up, Koos? Sometimes they call me Koo. Koo? Yeah. What up, Koo? I call him, I, I think I would call him Saya. Oh, yeah? I actually met somebody named Saya. What's that? What's happening? Met somebody named What's Saya. happening? I like it, I like it. Did you guys just fall in love? <laughs> You're beat. That's the right dude, there. What if you guys fell in love and then everyone eventually gets up? It takes like two hours for everybody to leave and then four o'clock in the morning, I'm just like... What's new, Mike? Yeah, see, I was six. You what? I was six, so, like, don't. I definitely didn't fall in love with her. Okay, good. Thank you for not falling in love with my wife. Uh, what He's was your taken. favorite thing to do as a kid? What was that? What was your... I'm, I'll speak slower. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite thing to do when you were a kid? It's uh, like, don't honestly, say uh, masturbate, don't classic, say masturbate, don't classic say Classic make pretend. You what? Classic make pretend. Classic make pretend. Yeah. Nice. What was your, no, that's great and adorable. <laughs> what was your go-to make pretend? Oh, you know, fantasy stuff, being dragons or wizards. Hell All yeah. All that jazz. Hell yeah. I still dude, do the it. the girl in front of you was like, yeah, fuck yeah, dude! <laughs> yeah! What's your name? I was a dragon. <laughs> What's your name? It's Jamie, I talked. Jamie's, Jamie's so excited. Jamie, I've had She's just snapping about all over the place. <laughs> what did you say? She's snapping all over the oh, place. Oh, I thought you said she spit all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I was a dragon. <laughs> Open your mouth. Um, cool, classic mate pretend. Uh, dude, one time 
I was, uh, I was making pretend in the back of my third grade class, and I had a, a, a really short pencil and a really tall pencil, and I was pretending it was Andre the Giant and Hulk Hogan. And I was in my desk, and it was, uh, I had a, remember the desk you could like put shit in? Individual, or a desk, you remember desks? <laughs> And I was like, I was in there, I was making them fight, and I was in my own little world, man. And I was like, Hulk Hogan's going for a slam, but how can he do it? Andre the Giant's 500 pounds, and he's from the mountains in the Alps of France, and he can't talk because his tongue is also giant. He loves peanuts, but here comes Hulk Hogan, and he's going for a slam, and he's gone. Like, oh, yeah, he's bouncing off the ropes, and leg like, drop, Hulk Hogan wins. And when I looked up, the whole class was looking at me. And the teacher says, um, is there something you'd like to share with all of us? And I, that was the most embarrassed I had ever been. And I was just like, Hulk Hogan's champ of the world. <laughs> and she was like, what? <laughs> I was like, nothing, I'll get... What do I have, detention? I'll stay for detention. <laughs> and then my grandma used to pick me up from detention, and she'd be like, what did you get detention for? And I'd be like talking in class or whatever, and then we would go right to Toys R Us, and she'd buy me a wrestling figure, and we would go to Burger King, and then it was a wrap after that. And that's how I got disciplined as a child. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing, pretending your pencils were wrestlers? You fucking idiot, we could just go get wrestlers. <laughs> you're a fucking idiot. Sit down, eat meatballs until you're overweight. <laughs> you sit down, you get diabetes like the rest of the family. A uh, couple more, I'm having a good time. Hi. Let's talk to this guy right here. Okay. We, I oh, thought we I'm were over here. A, we, I made a connection and then... I'm over here. What, where did you go? How do you get there that fast? Wireless mic, huh? That's a good investment. So zippy. What's your name? I'm Joe. Hi, Joe. Wait a minute. Yeah. Did we already talk to Joe? Same Joe? Yeah. Oh, shit. Joe, you're... Oh. I, th this is very interesting. This is very, everyone's attracted to Joe for some reason. <laughs> Let's Joe, talk, you got some. Let's talk to this you guy. Good, I'm sorry. I'm gonna like. I'm gonna charisma. scooch in a little bit. I'm so sorry. You're sorry. good. You're good. Hi, Noah. Hi, Noah. Oh, hi. What do you do, Noah? Uh, I go to school at University of Portland. Okay. Yeah. No, you know Joe. I don't know Joe. Joe, introduce yourself to me. <laughs> Hell yeah. He wants to go climbing. You want to go climbing? Joe wants to go climbing with Noah. He just invited him. That's how they're going to get to know each other. Is this a meet cute? What, what are you doing after? Where do you, what are you climbing from, Joe? Where are you climbing oh. away from your problems? Where do you do, like, do indoor rock climbing? That's the fucking worst. What, do you like it? Is it fun? You know what I was thinking about? Do they play music in there? Is it like Ace of Base all the time? <laughs> they play music and you get fucking pumped and then you climb and then you're at the top and you look out and it's normally like, if you were in nature, it'd be beautiful scenery and cascading mountains and shit, but you just look down and there's a bunch of other sweaty people being like, ha, ah, ah, ha, ah, ha, what's it like at the top? I don't know, it's a gym. This is the top of the gym. <laughs> All the sweat stench comes up here. It's actually the worst. I'm gonna climb to the bottom, where it's nice. Sorry, Joe. Uh, let's talk to Noah again. Okay, Noah. Noah, what's your fucking deal? <laughs> um, I'm from Guam. Okay, that's your whole, that's your thing. <laughs> it's kind of my thing, I'm from Guam. <laughs> I was raised in Connecticut, it's kind of my thing. You can talk to me about that if you'd like. Uh, um, do you have any questions or anything? No, uh, anything, is there anything in your life that you're having trouble with that you think I could help you with right now? Uh, not really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's nice, that's good shit. Noah's having a good life. I like Noah. Noah doesn't need your indoor rock climbing, Joe. He's fulfilled. 
Let's, let's talk to this guy right in front of me. Okay. Is there anything you want to say, Noah? I feel Wait, like you're. Wait, Noah. Really kind do you of want anything else? Yeah. Oh, I just wanted to ask, where's uh, Steve at? Oh. oh. Steve's home. Oh. Yeah, no, I would ask about Steve too if I came to see. <laughs> <laughs> this is why Simon and Garfunkel broke up. <laughs> this Garfunkel can't go anywhere by himself. You. You can see Steve in, in Nashville in April. Yeah, you can buy a ticket to see Steve. Yeah, I actually no, you can't. Or They're you can go to his house. Sold out already. Yeah, Steve is is in Los Angeles. We went to an art show together. It was a nostalgic art show. Steve spent hundreds of dollars on this beautiful nostalgic art that he can't fit in his apartment. Facts. And that's the most Steve thing you could possibly do. I love him very much, and hopefully he will. Uh, be on tour with me and come and... This is why we didn't do questions. Because it gets too... Like, this isn't enjoyable for anybody. But, yeah, Steve's fine. Thank you for asking about somebody else. Who's All next? All right, hang on. What's your name? Coincidentally, Steve. There's Steve! There Steve. he is! Let's see. Steve. Found him. Steve, what do you do? I'm um, a systems engineer. Okay. Oh, he's a smart motherfucker. Is he? Is that something you need to be smart for? I just like to call myself a farmer of servers, that's it. He's a farmer of servers. Okay, so what gets you further in casual conversation? <laughs> <laughs> Saying that you are a systems engineer or a farmer of servers? Most people don't know what a systems engineer is. Does anyone know I, what a fucking I farmer of servers that. is? I'm like, I, I, just, I just hold the title, that's it. You just hold the title, you're the champion. Yeah, they were like, you're gonna be a systems engineer. That's good, man. Is there any other analogies you can make between farming and uh, systems? I probably you ever milk could. the system? I am from, I'm originally from Texas, so yeah, I grew up in a farming community. Oh, I cool, man. Are you also from Texas? Because you turned around. She's nice. so excited. What part of Texas is very small? Maybe you guys are from the same town. Uh, what part of Texas are you from? Keller. Keller? Like Fort Worth. Sure. Fort I Worth. love Fort Worth. Are you? Hey, it's the so Zoe Show. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna get hit. Uh, where are you from? Austin. Austin. Heard of it? Like Stephen? Yeah. Steve Austin. Stephen Austin. <laughs> the billion trillion dollar man. <laughs> that joke's even too old for me. Um, do you? If you. Are you single or are you with this guy? No, no, no. This, that's too many people in that relationship. Um, she walked in by herself. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really cool of you to call her out like that. I just, I just want you to know this lovely lady from Fort Worth is single. No, she, did she just by herself tonight? My boyfriend lives in Texas. Oh, I lied. Nice. I fucking lied, guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So yeah, you'd be the worst fucking host at a restaurant. Here we go, matchmaker right now. Her boyfriend's in Austin. Dude, doing no work to be the matchmaker. Hey, you look like you should be with your boyfriend. Do you agree? Sorry, guys. Sorry, fellas. Dude, never be a hostess, ever. What are you, by yourself? All right, everyone. Look at Tiffany. She wants a seat at the bar, probably. Do you want a seat? You want a table? <laughs> Tiffany wants a table. Uh, hi, hi. What is your name? Edie. Edie. Yeah. That's a fun name. Thank you. Is that short for something? Um, well, Edie Elizabeth. <laughs> Close. My real name is Julia, but my middle names are Elizabeth and Diane, so we get the E and the D. But my mom wanted to spell it like E and then die. Okay. Yeah. That's still pretty, you, your first name has an origin story. Yeah. <laughs> your first name's an X-Man. Sure. Uh, that's fun, what do you do? Um, I go to PSU for art history and I'm also a barista. Art history. Art history. This yeah. is not, this is gonna sound condescending, but it's not, because this is a genuine question. Okay. What do you do with that? Um, well, I wanna teach, uh -huh. um, but my advisor said that I should do something different. <laughs> 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 hey Edie, what are you passionate about? 
art. I love art. I love the history of art. And I'd like to learn about the history of art. And I'd like to pass that on because I think that's important for generations to know about the history of art. And then your advisor's like, um. Good, that's good. That's good that you want that. Actually. But I want you to have a house someday, so don't do that. That's true. Well, she told me that I should become like a curator or someone that gets more money, maybe. And she told me that I should go to Europe and study in Europe or. Study abroad. curation in Europe. Hey, how do yeah. you guys put stuff on walls up here? Yeah. Is it different? Do you guys put it on backwards? Yeah, she told me I could get my PhD or something like that. So. Nice. Yeah. So you could be cool. Dr. Art. Yeah. Dr. Art History. Pretty sick. Nice. Good shit. Thank you. And then you could be mean to college kids when you when you go. Yeah. That's want, really that's I the be most mean to high schoolers. High schoolers. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Dickheads. Dude, um so this is gonna make me sound old. But uh oh don't 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 cut that part out of the video. Sorry. <laughs> um I think that it's real easy to be rude to kids now because they're rude, they're rude. And they, they're growing up, like the people, not you guys, you're all great. <laughs> but like right under you guys, everyone is like in their phones the whole time. And this makes me sound like an old man, I understand that. But people are losing the ability to like have conversation and make conversation because it's so easy just to like fire off a text. And conversation is an art and people are losing the ability to do that. And so I hope you become a teacher and I hope that you give them a lot of homework. <laughs> and I hope you make them do oral reports because that'd be fun to watch those motherfuckers squirm like that. I don't do that, just for you. What's that? I'll do that just for you. Good, thank you so much. Uh, anybody else? That's a cool t-shirt, by the way. Yeah, you're welcome. Easy. Um, what if I just walked across all you guys? It's like, okay, that's my time. Dude, has anyone ever crowd surfed out of a, uh, what? <laughs> who said, who screamed like that? What? Hang, hang on. Dropkick Murphy. The Dropkick Murphys crowd surfed out of a comedy show once? We were. Crowd surfed. Crowd surfed at Dropkick Murphys. Oh, no, that we wasn't. We were you at their let bar finish, last. That's not what I was going to say. Last Saturday. I was going to say, like, did Gallagher. Or Carrot Top ever fucking crowd surf out of a... Um, yeah, I don't know. Will you? Who has the confidence? What if, what if just one of you carried me out? Everyone put their arms up, and then one real strong person was like, yeah, he's having a good time. Whoa. <laughs> uh, who are you near? I'm, I'm right here in the middle. Okay, does anyone, we should probably wrap this up, right? What time is it? I have no idea. This hasn't, I, got yelled I haven't at even for a check this. My I phone. just bought it, <laughs> bought it two years ago. I haven't it's touched 9 it. It's 9.17. That was the first time I looked at it's this in two years. It's 9.17 and we gotta be out of here by 10. What? 9.17 and we gotta be out of here by 10. It's 9.17. Okay, only 15 or 16 more questions and we're out of here. <laughs> no, we'll do, uh, we'll end on whatever the next good one is. <laughs> I honestly let's don't talk, know. Let's, let's talk to this guy in the hat over here. I'm okay. sorry. I'm going to squeeze in over here. <laughs> hello there. Hi, man. My name's oh, Derek. Oh, say that again? His name is Derek. Say hello. Hello there. Oh, you said hello there. I thought you had an accent. Oh, no. I thought you were like, hello. I was sorry. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck so, yeah. Sorry to disappoint. No, it's okay. Can you do an accent for the rest of this? <laughs> hello. I, I can't. I'm not... I'm not great at accents. You don't know any accent? It doesn't matter. I'm not I mean, great at accents. I do them constantly. I mean, give me an accent and I'll try it. Lithuanian. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I, I wouldn't know even know if you were right. Lithuanian sounds like, but it's something like this. That's maybe? racist. You're a racist. That's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Let's kill Isaac. Let's kill Isaac. Why are you jumping on right away? You're jumping on. <laughs> I can't get enough. I just hate Isaac. Uh, cool, man. What do you do? I'm an electrician. You're an electrician. Admirable. Yeah. So. Low voltage, so I'm not a, a full electrician. Hell yeah. Well, shoot for the stars, you know? <laughs> um, you, ever get, you ever get shocked up? Uh, well, 
be, being low voltage, it's a lot. It's a lot lower. So I've been sh a little, a little shocked, but a little shock. A little shock every now and again. Just, I, I install cameras and security systems and fire alarms and stuff like that. That's cool. Where's the creepiest place you ever put a camera? <laughs> You want one of those waterproof cameras in the turlet? I'll oh, stick right in the turlet. That's what Lithuanian sounds like. You're on candy camera. Well, I accidentally put my foot through the ceiling of a girl's bathroom once. Oh, shit! <laughs> Hell yeah, it's like the worst version of Porky's. <laughs> Anyone shitting down here or what? Ha ha! Aha, I'm an electrician. <laughs> Can't wait till somebody comes in here. <laughs> Just <laughs> filming no one. Aha, ha. the girls' bathroom. Yes, it is. <laughs> Why did, dude. You tell kids they can't do something, that's all they want to do. All we wanted to do was go in the girls' bathroom. And for the love of God, I didn't know what I would do if I ever got in there. I'd be like, this is the girls' room? Whoa! What's that, tile? All right. I'm going to go tell my boys what I did. Hey, you got to see the grout work in the girls' bathroom. <laughs> fucking... It's crazy in there. There's probably boobs. <laughs> that's the only. That's the only driving motivation. When you're a kid or when you're a guy of any age, if you think there's boobs in a place, you want to get into the place. That's why people wait in line outside of clubs and shit. It's true. What? It still does. It still does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying forever and always, amen. In the Bible, <laughs> they made a trip because they thought there was boobs. You remember, Elliot, you remember the trip from the Bible where there was boobs? <laughs> remember when Moses parted the boobs? Um, thanks for your help on that one, Elliot. <laughs> Who's next? Anybody have a fun question? Somebody very reluctantly raised their hand back there. He's like, um. Hang on. What's your name? Christian. 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 <laughs> He's ready. He's got the Kung Fu grip on the mic, too. Why? What's I your... apologize, Zoe. That's okay. Calm down, Christian. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. I'm good. We're cool. Okay. Uh, um... <laughs> Christian? I want you to start by telling me why you came at me so tough with your name. This is, okay, I actually... Anybody have, a... have any questions? Christian has a question! Christian has something to say! Christian has something to say! Yeah. You want me to freestyle or? Christian has a question! Something to say! <laughs> In all honesty, I could do that for the next fucking 15 minutes. What do you, what's up, Christian? <laughs> uh, okay, so this has been weighing on me for like about a year. It was the last show. Yeah. Christian's got something to say. All right. <laughs> No, I'm just <laughs> what have I left? Fuck you, Christian, and fuck all you guys. What's up, Christian? Uh, okay, so <laughs> can I put you on blast for a second? Like, is that cool? Oh, Christian has something to say. Yeah. <laughs> Michael has a great retort. What did I do to you, Christian? You did something real bad. So let me tell oh you. no! Oh no! <laughs> Is this, is Actually, this the like, end okay, of my Okay, that career? makes it sound worse than it is. I'm just going to say it. Okay. So, um, I talked to Zoe about this a little bit. She, I got a picture with her earlier. It was pretty dope. Oh, it sounds she like Krishna has some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> I got something to say. <laughs> um, <laughs> say it to my face, Christian. <laughs> I'm trying to. You are, you are. You're, we're okay, okay, okay. Um, so I posted, I went to the show, your, your show last year in March. Heard of it? It was around my birthday. Okay. Yeah. Oh, happy birthday. So good, thank you. Well, yeah, thank you. Uh, last year. <laughs> this is for last year. <laughs> I took a picture with you. It was great. Uh, 
I told you I was horny when I stepped next to you. It's just something that you say you like people to say, I think. Never, you know, what did you say? I was horny. Yeah, that's horny. Okay, yeah. That's horny of you to say. Absolutely, thank you. Um, but I posted the picture. Okay, I tagged you in it. And I was like, Mike's going to like this. <laughs> Zoya liked it. I was like, Mike's going to like this. Zoya liked it, obviously. You mean like, like? Like, like, give it, like, double tap. Sure. Little double tap boy. Um, and you did not. Oh. Broke my heart. Like put it. your fucking, put the picture under my foot right now, Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> You're sad because I didn't like your picture? What are we, fucking Christian? <laughs> Don't tell Zoya. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, this is a time for honesty. Comedy comes from honesty. I fucked that guy and I was trying to ghost him. <laughs> I blocked all your shit, dude. I'm sorry. But you, uh, that was, it was super so, cool. I fucked Elliot like I fucked you. It was nice. We had a nice. On had, it was nice. Uh, yeah. So cut I, that part out too, just to be safe. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't like your picture, man. It's okay, we're gonna try again. Is that cool? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Maybe I look like shit in your picture. <laughs> you look pretty good. I'm not gonna like a picture where I look like shit. Am I like? <laughs> I'm not gonna like that. It was close, but. Good. Good. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry you held on to all that anger for a year. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a $25 ticket, and I'm gonna tell him. And I'm gonna tell him he didn't like my, my fucking picture. It was the first thing he said to me when he walked in. Well, me. I don't like that guy's picture. Let's get to the back. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I legit feel bad. Yeah, no, 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 that just was do, Just do it this time. <laughs> no, I like yeah. everything. I like every, you have a chance give me, to redeem scroll yourself. by, do pictures of someone else. I like everything on your phone. <laughs> But thank you for coming back, even after I, I wronged you. <laughs> uh, one more-ish? One more? Yeah. Uh, let's I'm gonna see. skate let's out see, of let's here. Let's see. Hang on, hang on. Let me, let me, let me, let me walk around. <laughs> We're gonna end it off with a, with a lovely lady. She's got something to say. I'm sorry, I'm gonna squeeze back here. I'm gonna sit right next to her, too. She's got a great, she's got a great shirt on. Oh, shit, what's your name? I'm Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I don't like your picture either, sir. No, you're fine. Do you have some, some fucking, some shit with me? No, I don't got no shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> I came at you too tough. I, I Christianed you. I can't speak half the fucking time. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's my fault. I'm good. Uh... Okay. <laughs> I'm good too, so. <laughs> What's up? Oh, I'm good. Just wondering. Um... <laughs> She's good, guys. You guys, she's real good, and she's got a cute little dimple. Thank you. I didn't hear that. What did she say? I agree. Oh, 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 nice. Congratulations on your dimples. Zoya has one. I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it. Fun fact. <laughs> Same Z's, fuckers. Zoya's wasted right now. Maybe a little. I'm really excited to be here. I got these tickets for my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. How old are you? I just turned 21. Oh, shit. Yeah, 21 feels like something. She's fucking wasted tonight, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, uh, I love the first time you go out drinking when you're 21 and you're like, I've been doing this since I was fucking 15. This, is, <laughs> this ain't shit. But now no one gives you shit for it. Yeah. Is it uh, Do you feel different? I feel, I don't know. No, the answer is no. I feel no. less sober around the time. You feel less sober all the time? <laughs> That's a diagnosable problem. <laughs> Especially if you don't drink. You're going to want to get that checked out. <laughs> Do you drink a lot? Not a lot. No. I mean. What's your favorite? Are you like a, you like fucking IPAs, dude? I am. I'm just trying stuff out now. I mean, I had my a cider tonight. This is but Whoa. I had a cider tonight, that was pretty good. You had a cider tonight? Somebody a drive cider. this girl home. Maybe <laughs> 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 yeah. the farmer up here could, could make you some more cider. Dude, I, when I was an underage uh, boy, I would get uh, snuck into the bars by my older friends, and I wouldn't know what to get because I'd never been in that situation before. And I would just look at beers and stuff on the wall, and I'd be like, give me a Red Hook. Like, no fucking little 15-year-old white kid drinks Red Hook beer, right? 
So then my friends were, I was like, what, give me a drink to order. I want to order a drink from the bar. And my friends were like, yeah, go order a Midori Sour. <laughs> Does anyone know what that is? It's just like, it looks like Ecto Cooler. It's like bright. It looks like hi, somebody squeezed a highlighter into a fucking a glass of ice. That shit's nasty. It is nasty. And it tastes like, sh like sugar, like melted gum. And I drank that for like three years. And I was so cool just because it, it had sour in the name. And I was able to ask a bartender for that and they would give it to me. And I felt so good. I was like, Midori Sour. And then the bartenders would be like, <laughs> For real? Because that's the dustiest bottle that we have. <laughs> it's like a potion. Uh, do you have a favorite drink? You said you're trying everything right now. I'm trying a lot of stuff. I was wondering, wondering if you had a drink recommendation. Yeah, dog. Um, <laughs> Zoya got me into old fashions. Yeah, a couple people have had that. It's been around for a little while. When it first came out, it was just called a fashion. <laughs> Whatever, Ma Midori Sour is pretty good. Uh, don't, don't, don't do Midori Sour. No, don't do that ever. Anything with bramble at the end is fun. Had one of those. I'm, I'm, like a, um, I'm like a whiskey diet person. And I used to be a gin and tonic person. Um, dude, I used to drink gin and tonics all the time. And then I got really sick and I was on blood thinners and shit. So I couldn't drink any alcohol. And, but I, I still went to the, the bars and stuff with my friends to go be wacky and dance and stuff like that. And I wanted to have something to hold. I didn't want to just drink water all night. And so I would just order tonic water. <laughs> That's fucking gross. <laughs> and it's like terrible for you. And you would think with how terrible it is for you, like calorie wise, that it would taste good. But it doesn't. It tastes like you're trying to clean the bacteria out of your throat. <laughs> <laughs> Christian's got something to say. <laughs> um, anybody else? Oh, so uh, those are my recommendations for you, and I hope you enjoy your 21st year of your life. Happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> one um, last one? We'll do one last one, and then I'll say goodbye to you guys, and then if you want a T-shirt or something. Those are the only Friends and Friends T-shirts we've ever made. And uh, they're available, and they say Portland on them, so we have to sell out tonight, be or else we're fucked. You guys can go see my sister Teresa for those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't mean to do a hashtag ad in the middle of the <laughs> Shit, cut that part out of the video. What's, what's your name? Dave. Dave. <laughs> Dave. Did he do this? I can't see real well. Did he go he, like this? He did the... Dave. It's, it's Dave. Yes. I'm Dave, who wants to touch Talk my to midsection. <laughs> Dave, are you an R&B singer? Maybe. Oh yeah, hell yeah. He's Who got, puts a he's reverb got sexy on voice on for you. Dave, where'd you get your sexy voice? eBay. eBay. <laughs> One sexy voice, please. It's just, you imagine the eBay picture, it's just like the picture of somebody's floor, like it's nothing. Yeah, I had to take a picture. This is sexy. I'll send it to you. Um, how old are you, Dave? 38. 38. That's old enough to have a sexy voice. You've been through some shit. Um, that's fine. Where are you from? Uh, Portland. Portland. Originally from L.A. Originally from L.A. and you moved to Portland? Yeah. What's the, what was the biggest difference? They have a Mexican aisle. They have a Mexican aisle in Portland? How long were you in LA that you couldn't find the Mexican aisle? Dude, I looked for fucking two years before I found the white person's aisle in LA. Where in LA they're just called aisles. Aisles. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> That's cool, man. What do you do? Um, you write poetry or some shit? Hey, this, sometimes. Is, this is Dave. This is the way I talk. If you like this, you love the way I walk. This is Dave. <laughs> yes. Pretty good, right? Brian, pretty good? Yeah. This dude is a poet, so he would tell me if that was bad. And he's still smiling, so that was a good poem. It's a haiku, 575. Hey, my name is Dave. I got a real, I got a real, 
Sir, see you both. <laughs> hey, my name is Dave. <laughs> haiku, you ever see somebody write a haiku live? <laughs> yeah! That'd be a good ending in case the real ending doesn't work. So save that. Apple, Apple S. What do you do, Dave? <laughs> IT stuff. You what, IT stuff? Yeah. I thought you said I do stuff, and I was like, I'm done with Dave. <laughs> you do IT stuff. You can afford to have a sexy voice with some, some IT stuff. Uh, so I, you go and you're like, you gotta change your password, baby boy. <laughs> you gotta change your password. What do you, what do you deal with the most? What's your most, what's the most common problem as an IT guy? You don't know. You've never had a problem. It was your first day of being an IT guy? I was a professional volleyball player for 14 years. But now I'm an IT guy. You gotta change your password, baby boy. Nice. Do you, do you work like in an office building? Yes. Do a lot of people look at, at porn on their office computer? Yes. Yeah, fuck yeah. The balls you that have to have sense. to look at porn in a cubicle. That's the loneliest place to look at porn, I think. <laughs> Let me think. Does anyone know a lonelier, sadder place to look at porn than in a cubicle? A oh, why did 75 Jesus of Christ. you know a sadder answer? <laughs> <clears throat> Who said something? Who said Public anything library. ever? Public library, very sad. Dentist's office. Dentist's office. <laughs> <laughs> Open wide. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good one. I'll look at that one. What did somebody else said something? ER. ER? Are you... Jesus. Oh no. What the? F Wait, are those real? Are you guys hanging Who said out? dentist office? Did you really look at porn in a dentist office? Yes, you did. Oh. <laughs> I was just kidding. I didn't really do it. Everyone, everyone moves away from a little bit. <laughs> oh shit. What's another sad place to look at porn? That you've looked at, another sad place that you know from experience. If you saw someone else look at porn, where did you see somebody else look at porn? ER waiting room. In ER waiting room. Oh, thank you for being honest. Jesus Christ. But that's more understandable than public library. Like you're fucking, oh, I don't know if she's gonna, I don't know if she's gonna make it. She's. She fell down a lot of stairs. She took a tumble. And we've been here for fucking 12 hours and they won't see her. They got a, a, a knife victim. Somebody got stabbed outside of Voodoo Donuts. They <laughs> brought them in and they actually brought in a dozen donuts, but they went fast and now we're just sitting here. I got 10% I got, uh, left on my phone. I was texting my mom and everyone is, everybody is up to date with the condition. We're just waiting for the doctor. Played all the played all the games on my phone. <laughs> no one else, no one else around. <laughs> Wonder if there's boobs on my phone. <laughs> and is anyone else looking at porn in a sad place? Had the porn in the saddest place. What? An airplane. Somebody squirt, screamed it out. Somebody I'm squirted it on an airplane. <laughs> Somebody squirted it out. I was gonna say the same, I was gonna squirt the same thing out. Where are you now? I'm right here. Okay. <laughs> Looking at porn on an airplane, that's <laughs> in the middle seat. <laughs> Just crackers, I guess. <laughs> Just crackers and a napkin. <laughs> <laughs> Crackers and a napkin. That's the name of, if, if this gets on Netflix, that's the name of it for sure. Like Val's on Crackers and a napkin. Heard a porn in the middle seat. Time to chop. One last thing. Does anyone have a question? A question that's not like, what is the internet? 
Was that your question? <laughs> you put your hand down. What is your question? Yeah. Oh. Yes, I do. First of all, aside from <laughs> aside from Hulk Hogan, may or may not be it openly racist. I think that movie's gonna be real fucking interesting. Cause I, I mean, maybe that's just my experience. Cause I grew up watching wrestling and like Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior were like everything I had had one of them on. So I do think a biopic of something like that would be awesome. But if it doesn't include that, it's not honest. So hearing Chris Hemsworth say the N-word is gonna be interesting. Um, I didn't say good or bad, I just said that's gonna be interesting. You can't deny that that's gonna be interesting. Um, they'll probably cut that part out though. <laughs> I wonder if he's gonna like do the voice. You think he's just gonna be like, I'm Chris Hemsworth and can't wait to fight Andre the Giant. Or you think he's gonna be like, I'll tell you something, brother. <laughs> you think they're gonna force him to do steroids? <laughs> you gotta be orange, you gotta do steroids. Them, them's the rules. You want this job or not? You gotta be racist, orange, and steroids. I wonder if, are there any black people in here? Hell yeah. Do you think, do you know about Hulk Hogan? Uh, no. Um, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Let me, I'll come back. Are there any black people are familiar with, with when Hulk Hogan was racist? Yes. Do, you, do you remember what he said? I think he's talking about like, didn't he talk about someone his daughter? His daughter was like dating somebody and like they, they taped his telephone conversation and then he said, he said the word that white people can't say. <laughs> do you think Hulk Hogan's like legit racist? Like, do you think he's overall racist? Isn't everybody from that era kind of racist? Fact. <laughs> yeah. I assume so. But I don't think everyone stays racist their whole life. I think you're not racist when you, uh, well, what the fuck do I know about anything? <laughs> Let me tell you about if people are racist or not. I don't know jack shit about anyone. But I think the more exposed you are to different kinds of people, like if you're cut off from every other different kind of person, like you live, well, here is not a great example. <laughs> if I'm being totally honest, you just have different whites. So uppity whites and quiet whites. So here is an, a great example. But if you move to like a great uh, city where, no, this is a, don't get offended, shut up. <laughs> if you move to a city, and this is a city, idiots, where <laughs> there's a bunch of different kind of people, I think, you know, you start working with people, you start interacting with people, you go out and you, you make friends and you have, have fun with different kinds of people. It's way easier to be racist when you're like isolated. But when you're around all these different kinds of people, you, I don't know. You become more used to it. it. People are just afraid of what they don't know about. So if you're around it, you're always exposed to things. You're not afraid. And that's all racism is, is being afraid of somebody. Probably. <laughs> Again, I don't, you know, I didn't go to acupuncture school or anything. So I don't, I'm only so smart. But I just, I, I just wonder if he, if the general consensus of Hulk Hogan is that he is a racist person or not. You think so? Okay. That's sure. how people think of, so somebody was like, hey Chris Hemsworth, <laughs> do you want to be the most attractive racist person? <laughs> it's, those are my thoughts. I don't have any like conclusions or anything. The movie's not out yet. <laughs> but, very interesting. Yeah, I got nothing else to say. I am gonna see it though, regardless of if Chris Hemsworth is racist or not. <laughs> we should do one more, cause that was fucking weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're leaving. One more. Does anyone have any questions? That would be a good. <laughs> oh, okay, great. Oh, word? Oh, shit just got interesting again. 
You knew Hulk Hogan when he was a child? <laughs> when, when you were a child, you knew Hulk Hogan. You guys were homies, you did steroids and shit. He's like, say your prayers, do your vitamins, don't date black guys. Oh, so he was like, he was always racist. So, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So if we're gonna be drawing conclusions, it only came, <laughs> I hung out with Hulk Hogan as a child, and let me tell you, he was not racist, unless he was talking, or we were eating dinner, or it was, the night time, <laughs> or late morning, he would be a little racist. <laughs> cool, man. Well, listen, I don't know anything about anyone. A couple of things. First of all, uh, thank you very much for coming out because uh, this is awesome. It's insane that we get to travel around with no written material and you guys come out and you're excited to see it. So I really, really appreciate you guys coming out. Um, I wanna say thank you to all my friends who made the trip for way less money than they were expecting. <laughs> and, uh, and that means a lot to me. And uh, I don't love all the people in Portland, but I love your city very much. <laughs> and I think that the uppity ones that work at the brunch places can eat dicks, <laughs> but everyone else seems nice. And uh, I had a really good time here. And I, I also want to say that there was a, um, a comedian who passed away very recently who was, this is improvisational, and he was a really great improvisational comedian. So if you don't know who Brody Stevens is, just as a little bit of homework, you should go home and just look up as many Brody Stevens clips as you can. Me and Delman were, were talking about it. There's a thing that we have to do as comedians, at Ali, everybody. Um, and we hang out at all these comedy clubs, and then real late at night, Brody Stevens would go on, and he would be insane to the audience, and it was always really fun to watch, and it was always different, and it was, uh, it was really magical, and a lot of people who are very close to him are gonna miss him very much. So just as some homework, go home and look up Brody Stevens, and uh, thank you so much for coming out, and I love you guys very much, and I hope you had a great time, so thank you. <laughs>